ZNet, I'm Ryan Christ, and I'm here at the former residence of Thomas Edison here in Louisville, Kentucky. For 134 years, his incandescent light bulb reigned supreme, but that is all starting to change thanks to recent legislation that mandates stricter efficiency standards for lighting. And that means that new bulbs like LEDs and CFLs are starting to become the new normal. This means that replacing your lights is going to be a whole lot different from here on out. But don't worry, because CNET's got you covered with a handy buying guide. So come on, let's talk some lights. So with these new standards and these new bulbs, you're going to need to know a little bit more about lighting when you make your next light bulb purchase. They're going to be a much longer lasting appliance for you. It's going to be more of an investment even if they cost more. So you want to know what you're getting before you get it. The first most important thing you need to learn is what a lumen is. And that is a unit of brightness. A lumen just tells you how bright a light is. The more lumens a light has, the brighter it's going to be. So when you're looking at two bulbs and you want to compare exactly how bright they're going to be, just look at the lumens. Don't worry about the wattage. Don't worry about anything else. The lumens are going to tell you how bright it is. It's a concrete number. The more lumens, the brighter it is. And this is an easy thing to do these days because the Federal Trade Commission made sure that lighting manufacturers put lighting facts on the box. And they've got these little labels that are just like nutrition facts on food. So if we look at these two boxes, we have an incandescent box here and a halogen box here. Uh, the incandescent is a 60 watt and the halogen is a 60 watt replacement. It's 43 watts, but it's supposed to approximate a 60 watt incandescent. The incandescent puts out 880 lumens, and that's a good average number for what an incandescent should put out at 60 watts. But the halogen only puts out 565, and that's pretty low. So if you wanted a nice bright light that approximated the 60 watt incandescent here, this halogen probably wouldn't be your best bet. And understanding lumens will help you figure that out and shop around and get a better bulb. The other principle that you're really going to want to know and understand is color temperature. The way this works is you've got a scale of temperature from 2700 degrees Kelvin or so to 6000 degrees Kelvin. And the confusing part is that lights on this end of the spectrum, the low end, are considered warm lights. And as they get hotter in terms of color temperature, they're called cool lights. So it is confusing. It's not ideal. But just understand that warm lights are yellow on the low end of the spectrum and cool lights are blue on the high end of the spectrum. Incandescents have always lived here on the yellow end of the spectrum and CFLs and LEDs have been thought to sit on the blue end, but that's not true anymore. There are plenty of bulbs across the spectrum uh, when it comes to CFLs and LEDs, so you're going to have plenty of options. So if someone tells you that the new energy standards mean the end of yellowy incandescent style light, that's just simply not true. To help you find these options, to make it really easy, the manufacturers even color code their packaging in many cases. Here are two bulbs from Sylvania, or two packages for bulbs, I should say. This one's nice and yellow, this one's blue. And of course, this is a low color temperature, incandescent type light. This is a high color temperature, cool, bluish, very fluorescent light. And finally, you're going to want to be aware of the fact that there are a lot of emerging smart light options on the market. You can find bulbs that you screw in and use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to control from your phone, bulbs that you can connect with an existing home automation system like Insteon or Nexia and sync up with your smart locks and with your thermostat and with all sorts of devices. And they're really kind of cool to play with. They add a lot of functionality and make your life a little easier. There are also lights like the Philips Hue that change color on demand and are great at parties. You can sync it up to your music and have all sorts of fun recipes with IFT going on. It's just a lot of fun. A little expensive and kind of a novelty, but as novelties go, this is one that I kind of love. For more light bulb tips and guidance, check out the rest of my buying guide and leave a comment. Let us know what you think about lights these days. For CNET, I'm Ray Chris.